let's talk about this great uh, I Stay Home For campaign that you're doing, which has really caught on. Um, tell us how that got started. You know, it became pretty clear to me pretty quickly that uh, the one thing that the virus really, really didn't like at this point was um, social distancing and, and by being, uh, you know, us isolating ourselves. So um, we came up with this hashtag, I stay home for it. And it was a very simple idea, which was just, I just held up a poster and said, I stay home for Kira Sedgwick, because the idea is that, you know, uh, you can feel okay, but you can go out and somebody can get sick and somebody else can get sick and that person could be connected and connected and connected to somebody that you really care about, you know, whether yeah. it's someone's father or, or grandmother or child or whatever. And, you know, this is a frustrating situation because we, we, we want to have something that we can do. And there are a lot of people who are doing heroic work who can't stay home medical workers and, and, and first responders and even, you know, the mailman and the, and the people that are uh, delivering food, et cetera, et cetera. But for those of us that, that can stay home, this seemed like a, um, uh, a pretty simple thing that we could try to do. Sure. And the other piece of it is that the reason that I was the sort of like, um, became the kind of face of it initially is just because of the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, because I've always felt that you need to take me out of the game. Like if you take, if, if the game has nothing to do with me, which it really doesn't, it's right. really the idea that we are connected. And um, the, the coronavirus is, a, is kind of a terrifying example of that. Yeah. Um, but on the other hand, we see now that the connections between people are really, really very powerful. And, and we're all really hungry for that. I don't know about you, but you know, I'm spending time zooming with my family, um, reaching out to people that I haven't spoken to for a really long time, checking in, checking in, checking in, because even though we're isolated, we're hungry for connections. Yeah, well, uh, what I'm doing is I've, I'm, I'm having my manager call everybody to check in. <laughs> and I'm told they're all doing really well. Uh, <laughs> but no, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the exact same thing. I think we're all doing that now. And uh, um, I wanted to to throw in my support for your campaign because I think it's a really cool idea. Uh, what I'm supposed to do is write out hashtag I stay home for. My first draft was also Kira Sedgwick. Uh, <laughs> She's already been done. I know. I I I, I, told, I'm, I understood that you have some connection with her that I see. I guess is more important than mine. I don't personally get it. Uh, I just want to say my parents. Uh, I stay home from my parents because um, I, uh, I, you know, my parents are up there, uh, and that's who I think about in this time, in this crisis. I'm staying home, and I want to encourage other people to stay home because I want to keep people of that generation safe because they're the most vulnerable. So, to me, that's what I'm staying for. They're doing they well. Doing? They're doing well so far, and they really love that I'm staying away from them. <laughs> that's, their, that's their favorite part, because they have a lot of kids, and uh, I was never the favorite. So there you go. <laughs> uh, let me make sure I mention that uh, season one of City on a Hill is available on Showtime On Demand, and there's never been a better time to catch up on these great shows uh, that are out there on streaming. It is a golden age of streaming, City on a Hill is terrific, so check it out now while you're sitting at home waiting for your Postmates delivery. Uh, and join in on the hashtag I Stay Home For campaign uh, on social media. And you can learn more about uh, Kevin's philanthropic work at sixdegrees.org. It's an organization that's doing a lot of good. Kevin, thank you very much for doing this. Um, right, thanks so, so much for having me. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, next time we see each other, it, it won't be on Zoom. Um, I'm told I actually look better in Zoom. This might be the way you prefer to talk to me next time. <laughs> so thank, thank you for being here, Kevin. And uh, take care of yourself and my best to Kira. Back at you, man.